Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mark with Limo Marketer here. And in today's video, I don't need my AirPods. I'm going to be talking about how we diagnose an underperforming Google Ads campaign. And in this video, because I don't want it to be an hour or two hours long, I'm gonna just focus on what's happening when you're not getting um, enough uh, impressions and clicks and enough traffic. Now this is typically going to happen in areas where um, there's not a lot of people. So in smaller markets, I'm actually making this video because I just recently ran into this problem um, with a client's account who um, is in a very small market. There's not a lot of people searching for these services. And so we launched the account and within three days he had only gotten three clicks, uh, only one lead, which is no good, right? We wanna get several leads a day, um, ideally. And so there's really a couple different levers you can pull um, to get more traffic. So the first lever is your location targeting. And I'm going to go over these in no particular order. Um, this isn't always the first lever I pull, but uh, if you go into the settings of your Google Ads campaign, you're gonna notice you can target by different um, you can target by radius, you can target by the city, by the county, you, uh, you can target by um, a DMA region, which is, I believe, um, like a, an advertising region. So for instance, in the Bay Area, it includes um, pretty much the whole Bay Area. So there's lots of options. And I get asked a lot, well, what do you use for targeting? I typically do radius around my client's location because that's typically going to get me leads within a certain area and that that's usually what i'm looking for now of course if you do more of a black car type service um, your radius targeting might be the same let's say you focus on lax airport you might only do a 25 mile radius around you and targeting local people that need to go to the airport but your keywords are what are going to target people that are flying in all over the world and so, you know, one of your keywords might be LAX car service. And so what that means is anyone, if you have the setting correct, which is people in or interested in um, the location that you're targeting, then it's going to show ads to those people that are outside of your uh, targeting, uh, let's say radius, but they're searching a query that you wanna show for. Because look, if someone's flying from Europe to LAX, which they wouldn't be doing right now, but let's just say they are, well, um, then your ads are still going to show what you want them to show. But this is typically the first lever I pull. What I like to do is if I start out a campaign in New York City, I might just start with a, a five or, or, or 10 mile radius. So that's my little circle I draw to 10 mile radius and this would be again in a very densely populated area that might be all we need to do uh, but if let's say you're in uh, a small market like Topeka Kansas or something you might need to do a 50 or 75 mile radius and sometimes we have to do that so one of the things you can do if you're not getting enough impressions or clicks is you can go into the settings on Google Ads and go into the locations make sure if you're a limo company and a lot of your clients are flying from out of state or out of country, you wanna make sure you're targeting people that are in or interested in um, your locations. Very important to get that. Um, but that's the first lever we can pull, go into settings and widen the radius. Now the second lever, and this is typically the first one I pull, is going to be uh, keywords. Okay, so let me give you an example here. Let's say your keyword is stretch, and I'm going to do, for, for those of you who know a little bit about Google Ads, I'm gonna do a phrase match keyword. That, that means it has quotes around it, and Google's made a lot of changes recently. I'll put that in another video. They've made a lot of changes to phrase match. They're, they're um, getting away from broad match modifier. Um, and so phrase match is probably going to be um, an exact match are gonna be the bulk of your keywords now. But let's just say your keyword is stretch limo uh, service. 
okay? And it's, let's say it's not getting many hits. So what would I do to get this keyword getting triggered more so it's showing more ads? Well, the first thing I'd do is I'd just eliminate this stretch. So I'd just go limo service. Okay, well, what if we're still not getting enough, uh, enough clicks, enough impressions, enough leads? Well, you could even just do limo, right? So this is going to be the least amount of searches. This is going to be the most amount of searches. And so that's one thing you can do. Um, and, then, and then finally is the match types themselves. So this is uh, going to be a whole, this could be a whole nother video, but essentially right now we're in May, 2021, Google's about to phase out broad match modifier. Th those are the keywords with the pluses in front of them. So if we do plus limo plus service, it's that type of keyword. So these are going away and it's going to be mainly phrase match and then exact match. So phrase match are these ones, they have the quotes around them, exact match have the brackets. So that's an exact match keyword. And it used to mean that someone had to type in that keyword or you know that search exactly. So if you typed in limos, your ad wouldn't show well. A lot has changed in the past five, six, seven years. And now exact match does not mean exact match. They have what are called close variants. And I don't really like it myself because a lot of the variants aren't very close. That's why it's so important to keep an eye on your search query report. And I look, guys, I know this is technical. I'm making this video for those of you who know a little bit about Google Ads because I'm kind of going into the weeds and I get that. Uh, now, finally, and this is actually a, uh, I actually ran into the situation where even when I got very broad and I was using just this keyword, in that client's account, which that's very broad, right? That's a one word keyword. It's gonna trigger tons and tons of searches. And we were doing a very large radius, I think 60 or 70 miles. We didn't wanna do a larger radius. And so what are we gonna do? Well, this is the last lever I pull. You just get rid of these. But, so we go straight to broad match. Now broad match is without quotes, brackets, the pluses, however, if you're doing broad match, I highly recommend you don't just do a one word broad match keyword. So broad match is going to trigger for lots of different searches. And what I mean by this, let's say this is your broad match keyword. Let's just say it's, it's limo service. Well, your ad might trigger when someone searches car rental or Uber or Lyft or enterprise rent a car. So, Broad match can be very dangerous, and that's why it's so important. If you do pull this lever, you need to check your search query report every single day. And if you're spending a significant amount of money, 50 or $100 a day, you want, might wanna check it uh, you know, a few times a day because you're gonna have to constantly add negative keywords. And that's, again, another video on how to um, be proactive with negative keywords because we don't want to spend you know, the next few months just adding negative keywords because that's a lot of money wasted and we can be proactive because we can kind of guess um, what sort of queries will be uh, uh, triggered, which keywords will be triggered by which queries. And so we can be proactive and add those negative keywords before we spend the money on them. So if I do want to do a broad match uh, keyword, usually what I like to do is I like to have it be um, a, a, what's called a long tail keyword. A long tail keyword just means it's a long keyword. So even, uh, so probably just stretch limo service would be a good one. Um, you could even do, you know, um, let's say limo service, uh, let's say Cedar Rapids. or even stretch limo service Cedar Rapids, and then not do quotes or brackets around it, that would be a long tail broad match keyword. And that's typically the last lever I pull. Most of you watching this video are not going to need to pull those levers, and you can probably just get away with um, increasing your radius a little bit if you're targeting by location, or um, instead of having you know, a long, phrase match keyword like stretch limo service with the quotes around it. 
we just take out the stretch and we just do limo service. And then instead of doing limo service, um, if we're still not getting enough hits, we just do limo with the quotes around it. And then that last lever you're gonna wanna pull, of course, is the broad mat, or I'm sorry, the broad match keyword where you completely remove the quotes, the brackets, the pluses, and it's just that naked keyword. But for those ones, again, you have to be all over that search term report because you don't want to be wasting a ton of money on irrelevant search queries. Hey guys, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Let me know. Are you guys running Google Ads? Have you ever tried broad match keywords? They can be very dangerous, but you can collect a lot of really good data quickly. And one other thing I've noticed, one little final nugget is, I have noticed that broad match keywords are typically less per click than phrase match and exact match. Now, I don't know 100% why this is, but I'm guessing it's because these keywords get triggered by uh, 10 to 100 times more searches than phrase and exact match, and therefore, Google's like, hey, we're gonna give uh, we're gonna give this guy cheaper clicks because he's going broader. So hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'll see you next week.